y'all welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be all about my february favorites i absolutely absolutely love filming these videos and they're my most favorite video to watch so it makes sense it's been a while since i've done an actual one month favorite you know what i mean so i'm pretty excited to get into the products that i have here in front of me let's just jump right into products shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay, so to start today, I want to mention a concealer stick. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil in the shade, I think the shade is KGB. That's interesting. <laughs> so it's just your average kind of concealer stick. Um, and I've had it for quite a while, but recently I've pulled it out to use it to carve under my brows. Um, so it's been really good for that because having some brow issues, I do my brows at home, but the wax that I was using to kind of clean up under here, because my hair will grow all the way down to there if we're not careful, um, is not working as it used to. So if you guys have any suggestions about a good at home brow wax, I can't, I, I'm not gonna let someone else do it. That's where we are. So if you have any suggestions, let me know down below. I have really been into the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate um, for my brows, which is weird because I've usually only used some sort of pencil, maybe a powder to fill in my brows, but I keep going in and out of using this, trying to figure out the best method for me to use it. And I found that versus trying to outline my brows with the dip brow, that's just way too difficult for me. I still outline with a pencil and then I go in and I fill it in with the dip brow instead. So that has proven to be what I enjoy the best. Now it does give me a rather bold, lightly aggressive brow, but I like it, so it's good. So the combination that I've used with this, so I go on with my pencil first, and then I go on with the dip brow, and this is, like I said, in the color chocolate, super brown, right there. And then to set everything, I have been reluctantly <laughs> using the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer, is what it's called. It is has grown on me and it has taken no no joke the full month of february for me to learn to love this product now i am such an anastasia brow gel girl that it was hard for me to kind of think of anything else but there was like a good sale at ulta it's like buy one get one 50 off or something and everybody's been talking about it so i was like let me just try it out it is very different the product is fibrous for sure and then you have this kind of boat shaped object to apply the product with, which is just very interesting. But it shockingly, shockingly holds everything in place and it gives it a little color and it also volumizes as it says, um, the brow to just make it a little bit thicker. Here's the problem. I tend to highlight my brow bone with whatever highlight I'm putting on my face and then it gets to my brows. It's a whole thing, blah, 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 moving on. So anyway, that is the Maybelline Brow Precise Vo Fiber Volumizer and I have the shade Medium Brown. I don't think that I mentioned that. I really, really, really enjoy it. Now, after this, I'm going to try real hard not to talk to y'all about the melt stacks, okay? But this color in particular, Blur, from the melt stack, it's just a very slightly peachy beige color, creamy beige color. It seems really unassuming, nothing too much to it, but I love this color for a couple things. One, um, I saw a tip from Katie from Luster Lux. She takes it and kind of feathers it into her inner corner, into her nose contour um, to kind of help everything look seamless, which I absolutely agree, that's what it does. But also specifically for me, on this eye for some reason, when I'm trying to put shadow into my crease, I'm not exactly sure what happens yet. Maybe it's just the way my eye is set up right now, but I guess it, it just ends up all the way up to my brow, which is not where I want it. So I take this color blur on a blending brush clean one and then just go over the very top of that 
color that's kind of gotten away from me and it helps to soften the edge, blur it out, kind of cleans up your mistakes. So for that, I really love this color. I'm sure there's other colors that do it, but this one has been key key for me. So this is Mel Cosmetics and the Shadow Blur. You can buy them individually. The problem is, is currently, at least the last time I checked, maybe a week ago, they were all sold out. So hopefully they, follow them on social media. Hopefully they will have a restock soon. So if anyone is interested in picking it up, you can do that too. I won't spend a ton of time on these items because I have done videos that kind of feature or at least highlight them. And so the first one is the Smashbox Cosmetics Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation and I really, really like it in combination with the Cover FX Drops and Moonlight? Nope, Candlelight. <laughs> so I really, really enjoy both of these products. Both of these products together just make for such a beautiful finish. Um, the Studio Skin Alone is a demi-matte finish, I would say, very skin-like. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful finish and it does wear as long, at least 12 hour days, it lasts for me on my skin. But I like it with the cover effects because it just gives it a bit more luminosity to the skin, which I really, really enjoy. So. These two together are winning teams. Actually, the almost the rest of these pro products are in some sort of combination of form. So what are you gonna do? I have some more foundations that I would like to discuss. I have fallen so hard. You guys know how much I love the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I mean, do we have to talk about it again? Have I not told you 1,300 times? Have you not gone out and purchased it yet? What are you doing with your whole life? I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. But if you haven't picked it up, I highly, highly recommend you check it out. Right now, Ulta has a sale for L'Oreal products is buy two, get one free. So you can check out a few things and they actually have that same sale with Maybelline, I believe. So you can maybe pick up the brow was it the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer along with maybe one of these, two of these, whatever you're into, it's cool. But I'm in the shade 211. Now I will tell you, this foundation oxidizes <laughs> Not a ton, but enough. So I definitely recommend bringing it down your neck just to be on the safe side. So you're not out here like Captain Obvious with you know your face a different color than your neck. Um, but as all along with that, I don't know. You saw me in the video. I um, used a shade 212 to bronze the perimeter of my face. I don't know that I'm gonna be doing that anymore because the last time I did that. I looked in the mirror about a young four hours later. Now, I did my makeup, did the video, when it sat on my sofa and watched TV had dinner, so I wasn't out and about. But I'm glad I wasn't because I looked in the mirror and I was, I was hella, hella bronzy. It looked fine. I could totally have pulled it off. But, I mean, I couldn't have my shoulders out and that face, like, together. <laughs> People was going to have questions. <laughs> It was hella bronzy. Now, in the summertime, I think I'll totally be able to get away with that look. But for now, I'm just going to hold off on doing a cream bronze contour situation with 212. Because it's it's a bit much even for your girl. And you know I like a lot. So, <laughs> I'm just saying, be forewarned. Maybe that's not quite the road that we should take together. I'm just putting it out there. So, 211 by yourself, though, is what I have on my face today. Did I mention? I have on the brow products we talked about today. Okay, cool. Um, 211 I have on my face today, and I just bronze with my good old, my good old trusty bronzer that I ain't done me dirty yet. Um, and I do really do love it. Like this, not only does this <laughs> foundation look really good in person, it definitely photographs really well. It looks really good on camera, so just something to mention. Now, something that I am trying today, um, along with that, it's not quite a favorite, but I'm going to go ahead and mention it real quick, is um, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the same shade. So, L'Oreal, I don't know what they were on, but Cream Cafe and Pro Glow is 211, but Cream Cafe and Pro Matte is 2, I'm sorry, is 110. So, I just, it took me a minute to figure that out. But either way, I took the Pro Matte and I just have it along the center of my face just right down there. 
that way when the glowiness ensues, which I'm, I'm lightly glowy already. It's not out of control, but you know, you know me, I have a ton of highlight on. But should it get any glowier, just the perimeter of my face is going to get glowy, which I'm totally okay with that. I tend to make my own glow <laughs> down the center of my face. So I thought I would try that today, see how it works. I'll keep you posted. Either way, my favorite is absolutely 211 L'Oreal Pro Glow. Love it, love it, love it. Can't get enough of it. I have been really digging the Salon Perfect 615 Lash. These are it here. They're very inexpensive. You can find them, I think, where do I get mine from? I think I get mine from Walmart. And they're really comfortable. The band is very thin. They're, the lashes are really long, but they're not super thick. So I'm coming to realize that's the style that I kind of like. Aside from my super dramatic queen bees, which you guys know I love from Coco Lashes, um, these, are, these are coming to a close second. They remind me of the Ardell Demi Wispies in the sense that the band is really thin and flexible. But the Demi Wispies... This is gonna sound super extra, but they're not quite long enough for me. <laughs> I want them to be longer, you know what I mean? Like full isn't necessarily something I'm looking for. I'm looking for super long lashes. So these um, definitely fit the bill with that. So these are the Salon Perfect Lashes in the style 615. Love, love, love. While we are discussing lashes, we all need to just take a moment and just take a deep breath or something because when I tell you that the iconic light lashes from House of Lashes may slide in and be my favorite lash ever, I have them on today. They are so amazing. I love them because they are in the style of the iconics, but they're not as thick. Like I said, I have the iconic lights on today. So this is what they look like uh, fresh out the box. So as you can say, super wispy, long, beautiful, gorgeous, but just way thinner in comparison to the original Iconics. So you have Iconic light on the top and Iconic the original on the bottom. Just very, I mean, the same kind of crisscross styling, the same length, all of that good stuff, just not as dense. And the lash band is not as thick. Can we get a what what for that? Because the lash band being thick does play a part in being able to get your lashes on. Sometimes you have to kind of break them in to, keep, to get them on. So like my queen bees are, they have a thicker lash band. So somewhere around that third wear, they've really broken in, they've really molded to my eye and I can pop them on with no troubles. The first few times, you know, you gotta work with it, you gotta get that corner in, make sure it's not trying to play you, all that stuff. But with a thinner band, these in particular, like the first time you kind of work with them a little bit, but shortly after that, they just pop right on. It's crazy. So these are sitting right today. I'm really grateful <laughs> for their assistance in this look, but I absolutely love them. They're terribly comfortable. Oh my gosh, they're so comfortable. And I just love them. They're they, I'll keep you posted, but I think they may be my new favorite lash. So that is the Iconic Lights from House of Lashes. The next products we're gonna talk about are all lip products. I went a little ham on the lip products this month. I have come to realize that I am officially a new lipstick wearing girl. And not just like my lips are better, almost concealer lips. Like this nude that I have on now is so almost my skin tone, I, I just can't even take it. I would like to go a wee bit lighter. So let's start with what I have on. I currently have on this lip com combo, which is the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Lip Creme and Fawn Over Me. This is it here. I have it in combination with MAC Cork lip liner. <laughs> I don't know why that was so difficult for me to say. Um, cork lip liner, which I didn't own. I just recently picked up and I don't know why because it's such a staple. Everyone has it. It's actually got a, it has some peachiness to it. It's very much a peachy nude um, now that I've been wearing it more recently. And it just, it lends so well to what I'm into, which is some sort of 
smoky eye, which although today is not terribly smoky, today I have a little bit of a weighing situation happening with some blue, it's a lot, with <laughs> some blue glitter on top. But either way, I absolutely love this combination. It is my favorite. And this formula is so good. It's so, so good. It wears really well on lips. It doesn't dry down, but it does give you that kind of slightly... It's not a glossy look. It's definitely more of a matte look, but it has a little bit of a gloss to it, just a little bit of a gloss. So I absolutely love this combo. I think I'm going to have to pick up yours to try, which is the shade lighter than this, which is crazy talk as far as I'm concerned, because I never knew I would like these pale nudes like this. So pretty excited to try it. We'll have it on the list. I may have to hold out for the VIB sale so we can get a young discount on it. So there is that. The next... Uh, Lip I want to talk about is Venus from Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty, you guys know, I absolutely love this formula. This color, again, is that same peachy nude kind of situation. I will pop in some swatches, as I mentioned. And it's just long wearing. It's matte. It's super comfortable. It's one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. Absolutely love it. That is that. So while on the subject of Huda Beauty, might as well knock out the rest of them because now that I think about it, three of these favorites belong in that category with her liquid lips. Icon from Huda Beauty. This one is a peachy, rosy peachy kind of color. And I really do love this. This is really good for every day. In my opinion, it's like a peachy, rosy kind of color. It's nice for work. It's not a super bright lip, but it's not terribly muted. It's a terracotta, peachy, rosy situation. Did that help at all? And I love to pair it with the lip pencil and icon as well. I just like the two together. I like this color so much that I picked up the pencil, so. Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty, Lip Pencil, and Liquid Lip, and Icon. Love, love, love those two. And then the last combination with Huda Beauty is with a MAC pencil. And this is a Pro Longwear MAC pencil in the color He Said, She Said. It is a beautiful, beautiful cherry red um, lip color, which I absolutely adore. Very long wearing. I'm very creamy. This formula is very reminiscent of the um, Huda Beauty formula and the lip pencils, which I really, really do like. They're creamy. They're easy to apply. They last a good while. You know what I mean? Like, I really like this. And I especially like to pair my liquid lip with a good creamy pencil underneath because it just lasts longer that way. So this one I like to pair with the color Famous from Huda Beauty. And it's just a beautiful deep red color. Um almost burgundy not quite but almost burgundy but this is just a beautiful red combination and i absolutely adore it you guys know i love a red lip so this should be of no surprise and the last favorite <laughs> lip combo that we have today is uh the huda beauty lip pencil and the color trendsetter and i like to top it off uh with the charlotte tilbury matte revolution lipstick and the color Pillow Talk. Whoo, this is your pinky new dreams come true. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, you should definitely, this combination is amazing. Now the Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk lip liner, I like it, it's very pinky. This combination makes it a bit more, more nude on my skin tone. I like the Pillow Talk lip liner, but I'd rather pair it with something else. This combination specifically together, again, pinky new dreams come true. I absolutely love it. These are the things I have fallen in love with this past month. I hope you have enjoyed watching all the ways in which I like to spend my money. <laughs> um, but I do enjoy it. I, God knows I love shopping. We, we don't even have to talk about that. But I really do, in love, do love trying new products and finding new favorites and sharing them all with you guys. So I hope you can see that. I hope you enjoy that. And you know, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, do it. Do it. Do it. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There will be a little a little picture. She'll probably be over here of me. A little picture of me. You just click her. Then you can subscribe to me, to her. We're the same. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then if you haven't seen my latest videos, I will pop a couple up here as well so you can check those out. And like I mentioned, I love you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.